the other important announcement, which is a very crucial announcement, is that either tonight or tomorrow, uh, as a minister, will be launching a satellite a TV channel. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. Yes, we will be launching a satellite TV channel because uh, I'm a statistics person myself. So we have been checking the traffic into our internet TV channel. That internet TV channel is mostly watched by people in, in first world countries where internet is cheap. And also in some parts of Asia, like uh, uh, maybe your Dubai and uh, you, you, your Singapore, but a lot of traffic is, in you, is from Europe, Australia, and North America. So we have been wondering why there is limited traffic from Africa until we did our research and we discovered that most, uh, when you look at internet penetration in most of Africa, internet penetration levels are very low. That's point number one. Point number two, data costs are very high in Africa. So most people, when they get money to buy data, they would rather restrict the, the data which they buy to just the communication to WhatsApp and Facebook and also email for them to then use that guest data that they buy in order to watch TV it becomes very expensive. Even on YouTube, we, we, we have been observing the statistics. Uh, according to the analytics on our channel, uh, the Divine Kingdom TV, the Aconio, which is the YouTube channel that most people watch, we have been wondering why a lot of people are watching prophecies, but uh, very few people watch sermons. And we have, did, we have done a bit of our survey and we discovered that sermons are too long. They require a lot of data to watch them. Just one sermon, you can use so many megabytes to watch just one sermon. But to watch a prophecy, most prophecies are plus minus 10 minutes. The majority of them are less than 10 minutes. So for a person to, the data which they spend watching a prophecy, in its entirety, it's just a small amount of debt. So, uh, and then we have been praying about the solution because people in Africa, they also need to hear the message that we preach. And also, uh, when you look at our ministry, it now has branches all over the place. So for us, we, we need a common portal where we will be seeing whether we're following the same path or people are now pursuing different paths, we will be able to observe from the channel itself. We will be able to have a unified vision, a unified focus. So um, uh, that's why as a minister, uh, we did not only end at prayer, but we have transitioned to the launching of a new, uh, not internet TV channel this time around, it's satellite TV. So I know many people in Africa, in sub-Saharan Africa, they watch free-to-air television, satellite television, not this paid DSTV. This paid DSTV is for mostly the lower middle class and the upper middle class, and people who are in the uh, upper class of society, but mainly people in the upper and the lower middle class. Those are the people who can afford DSTV because you need to subscribe every month. Hallelujah. So uh, uh, we did our research for many months and we discovered that the, in sub-Saharan Africa alone, there are f more than 45 million households that are serviced by the free to air, the IS-20 satellite uh, television service. So that's why we are going that route, route to reach people who may not have data, but who might have a satellite 
uh, dish on their houses. And uh, t uh, I mean a decont, a simple decont for free to air channels so that they hear our message. It's not something which is cheap, but he, as a minister, we believe that salvation is not cheap. If salvation was cheap, then God could have just forgiven us our sins, maybe by causing rain to fall on the earth, or by causing wind to come to blow away our sins. He had to send his son to die for us on the cross because salvation is not cheap. Hallelujah. It's a bit expensive, but we believe God will make a way. It's something which we have been thinking about for the past six to seven years. Hallelujah. So we've been asking God when to launch this in order to reach many of our fellow Africans with the gospel. Most of the people who are in sub-Saharan Africa who are passionate for Christ, but who don't have access to money, who don't have access to uh, high-speed internet and all of that. So uh, very soon, uh, maybe as early as maybe this evening or tomorrow, to be precise, to be more accurate, there will be a channel which will appear, which will be called Divine Kingdom TV. Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. 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 Yeah, so it will be appearing on your screen. So we'll start to populate it with programming. Uh, so, so those who want to partner with the, that initiative, uh, it's a tool of evangelism. It's an initiative for reaching the lost. There are some people who receive Christ. There are some people who receive hope. Just like our YouTube channel has been able to reach a certain segment of the population and also the internet TV, those will continue. <coughs> we believe that the TV channel you, you will, will reach many more people. We'll start to see many more people coming to church services because we have met many people who will be saying they don't even know me. And then they start to argue because one will be saying, ah, this person, he is well known. The Kenyans, they follow him in their thousands. And then the person will be shocked. The person who stays at Temakande, who doesn't have proper access to internet. They'll be saying, who is he? Then they say, ah, I once saw a prophet in such and such a year. I've remembered the voice. But if we have got a satellite TV, the work that we do in terms of intercession, the work that we do in terms of evangelism, in terms of all praise and worship, it, it will be seen potentially by 45 million households. It will be seen in East Africa, in Southern Africa, in Central Africa, and in West Africa. Uh, hallelujah. <laughs> hallelujah. So those who want to partner with this ministry, with the Divine Kingdom TV ministry, they will, uh, the website is being revamped so that they partner with us, so that the channel does not go off air, so that it doesn't go, you know, it gets launched and then it goes off air without notice. Because these things, they require man, but uh, we believe there are people who support the vision that God has given us. As a church, we are not a business. Obviously, we, we don't have a business model of making money to support the work that we are doing. But uh, the men and women of goodwill, we may be loaded with cash, we need your money. We need your money to reach the lost. <laughs> we need your money to reach the lost. Hallelujah. We need your money. The, a, a lot of money will be needed even to, to make sure that we construct proper studios. Here we are in an industrial place. Sometimes there is noise of trucks that will be passing. Uh, there is a lot of feedback here. Sometimes people will be grinding because this is a warehouse in, a, in an industrial or factory zone of the city. So obviously we will need uh, space or it will have got a stand at Sunning Hill there. 
where we are supposed to build our ministry headquarters. So we will need funds. Also, we've got a church stand at Newton West there, where we can construct very speedily a studio, uh, a state-of-the-art studio, where we can be running the Divine Kingdom TV from. We had a very powerful song from the present worship team. I believe... I believe when God gives us studio facilities, they will be able to record more professionally and they go international like Hillsong. <laughs> because the purpose of this ministry is to give people who are invisible, in, maybe in other churches or at their homes, visibility and to empower a lot of people. You become empowered in whatever you are doing. That's the purpose of this ministry. Its purpose is not just to empower me and my wife, and then it ends there. It's to empower everyone. That's why you, are, you see we are launching branches, and the, the way we do leadership, it's a collective. I just appear towards the end of the service. At other times, uh, you may not see me on the screen. Sometimes I delegate even preaching to others. I just come to pray for people. It's the vision that God gave me to, to raise and empower others so that, he, like I always say, I don't know how long I'm on earth. My desire is that whether I stay for the next 40, 50 years or I'm going to pass on in the near future, whatever the case may be, there will be other people to carry the vision forward. Hallelujah. So I can't monopolize the grace and the platform that God has given me. Obviously, with the, the satellite TV, there will be lots of opportunities for us to do a lot of things in order to reach the lost. And many, like I always tell people in leadership, that you may be seated today, but you will be very, very active very soon. We will push you until you run away if you are a lazy person. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So that's that. So just to summarize that, either today or tomorrow, we are launching a, a satellite TV service, which will be called Divine Kingdom TV. It will be called Divine Kingdom TV. <clears throat> so we are inviting everyone from everywhere who has got a heart for the gospel? Who has got a heart for people who are lost? Who sincerely believes that the words of Jesus Christ in Matthew chapter 28, verse 19, they are still relevant to us as they were relevant to the apostles who had Jesus Christ on that mountain? Maybe we can read the, that portion of scripture. Matthew chapter 28, verse 19. The Bible says, Go therefore and make disciples of all the nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe all things that I have commanded you. And lo, I am with you always, even to the end of the age. Amen. So you see, Jesus Christ said in verse 20, when they have made disciples of all nations, they must teach those disciples of all nations to observe all things that he commanded the first 11 apostles. The question is, what did he command the first 11 apostles? It's so many things that he commanded them, but one of the things is what is written in verse 19. Do you realize that we must go into, the, into all nations and make disciples of all nations. And uh, during our time, you don't even need to move physically. You can move into people's homes easily through TV, through internet, through uh, written material like your mom, Laka, and through other means. <coughs> and we believe that people who will partner with the ministry 
in that area, God is going to bless them. That's what God told me. Hallelujah. That is what God told me. Like it is with me, my philosophy, I don't have a philosophy of compelling or forcing anyone to give. But what I know is that God will finance his work. <clears throat> and that those who will partner with God in helping us to reach the lost through this satellite TV channel uh, on IS-20, uh, they are going to be blessed by God. Amen. God will not allow them to fail. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. You will not allow them to fail. You won't allow them to fail.